what difference can we make? What can one person, or even a small group of people, do to change the status quo? I have always been curious how I can make a positive impact in the social climate of the world, and as a student of psychology, I see great promise in the method I'm about to propose. I would like to help you help to make the world a better place by taking up meditation. The key here is pro-social behavior, or helping behavior, and we're going to look at mindfulness meditation as a way of promoting it in ourselves and others. But before we talk about what we can do, let's talk about what we are talking about. So to begin with, mindfulness meditation is about focusing our attention, often on simple, something as simple as breathing. So what is pro-social behavior? An online introduction to psychology course on lumenlearning.com defines pro-social behavior as voluntary behavior with the intent to help other people. It is contagious in that we model it from one another. In an experiment published in PLOS 1 in 2017, Park and Shin found that pro-social behavior influences others to emulate that behavior. It is also an element of nurturing environments, which have a variety of mental health benefits. Research psychologists collaborated in 2012 to publish an article in American Psychologist exploring nurturing environments, or environments rich in factors that promote healthy development and reduce psychological, behavioral, and health problems. Prosocial behavior was included as one such factor. The authors even suggest that increasing the prevalence of nurturing environments could contribute to the prevention of most mental, emotional, and behavioral disorders. Thus, if we can help one another to help one another more, we can make the world a better place. So, how can we promote prosocial behavior? Luckily, a lot of psychological research has been done about that very question, and mindfulness meditation is an accessible way to do so. A study published in Psychological Science in 2006 found that gratitude drove helping behavior. So with that in mind, consider that in 2018, a study was published in the Journal of Happiness Studies finding a significant association between mindfulness and gratitude. Admittedly, one meta-analysis published in Scientific Reports that same year called attention to the need to improve the quality of research in this area, but still found a moderate increase in prosociality following meditation. More recently, however, in 2019, a large group of researchers from across Europe published evidence in Frontiers in Psychology that mindfulness can enhance emotional connection, pro-social behavior, and empathy. Also in 2019, two Australian universities collaborated on a meta-analysis review which found that mindfulness is positively related to pro-sociality. Remember, pro-social behavior is emulated by others and contributes to environments that support mental health and helping behavior. So there's a reciprocal loop. Thus, when we engage in it, we're fostering it in ourselves and others. Knowing all of this, you may be wondering how you might learn to meditate, or you may be afraid that you wouldn't even be able to learn at all. So how can we learn to meditate? Well, again, we are in luck because there are a wide variety of resources available on that topic as well. In more recent years, apps like Headspace and Calm that teach meditation have become popular. There are countless books and classes available both on and offline, and one of my personal favorites is The Book of Joy by Douglas Abrams, Desmond Tutu, and the Dalai Lama. But a simple Google search will suffice. I also have some personal resources that I've published from my studies, both of which will be linked below. In another speech for this class, I outlined some of the personal benefits of meditation. If you're interested, you will want to check that out as well, because it includes a basic introduction to mindfulness meditation. 
Also, I've put together an online course through teachable.com that outlines a few simple meditations. I think you'll find that meditation is simple and easy once you get started. All you have to do is breathe. Before we finish up, let's take a moment to look back. Basically, we went over what prosocial behavior is, how to promote it in ourselves and others, with meditation, and a variety of ways to learn to meditate. Really, what you should take away from all of this is that each of our actions create ripples in the pond. And we can make the world a better place. One of the easiest ways to do so is by learning to meditate. So why waste time worrying about the way of the world when you can actively uplift it simply by breathing in peace?